don't know about you, but I misplace my things all the time. My wallet, my keys, my passport, everything that's not attached to me, I misplace somehow or another. Today, I'm gonna to check out a brand new Bluetooth tracker that just came out on the market called the Inway card. Let's check it out. Welcome back, my name is Eric and you're watching Modern Day Tech, where I like to help simplify tech for your life. I wanna thank Inway for sending me out a test unit so I can do a full, honest review. I will be leaving affiliate links down below where you can pick this up and also get more information. I don't know what Bluetooth trackers are. They are simple devices that you put in your wallet, on your keys, anything that you happen to misplace or lose a lot. You put this in your wallet and if you happen to misplace it, you get your phone out and you can go into the app and and make it ring just like that now it also works in reverse if you happen to misplace your phone and but you still have your wallet you can actually press the button on the inway card and it will ring your phone the inway card is about the size of two credit cards coming in at 54 millimeters by about 86 millimeters and about 1.52 millimeters thin which is pretty thin because actually at 1.5 millimeters it actually ties for the thinnest bluetooth tracker that i've ever tested I do like how it's rechargeable fortunately it does use a proprietary wire so if that wire gets lost or damaged unfortunately you're out of luck you can't charge it up anymore and fingers crossed in the next model they'll have a wireless rechargeable battery that way you can put this thing on a chi charger and a charge right up without any wires whatsoever you can easily put it in your wallet you can also put it in your passport and you can also glue this onto things now if you do happen to glue this on you will have to remove it every six months or whenever the battery dies because the proprietary wire is more like a clip shape and you have to clip it on so if this is glued down you're not gonna have access to one side of the, the card now you you can jerry-rig this a little bit if you want to cut the clip off and then you just have to like tape it down temporarily. You can definitely do that. They say the battery lasts about six months. I can't accurately tell you if it's gonna last that long or not because I've only had the card for a couple weeks. However, I will be updating my full pros and cons list on my website. If you guys wanna see that full pros and cons list, there'll be a card right up there and also a link down in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump into the app and connect it, see what features there are and go ahead and test the sound level. Go ahead, download the app from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and make your own account. Once you're in there, go ahead and add your device, which in my case, this is a Inway card, and then hit add Inway card. Hit the button on the card itself and let it connect. Now you're all set up, you can hit the ring Inway card at the very bottom and it'll make your Inway card as long as it's within range. Loudest there is 91.7, which is not very loud. In top right, you do have a little icon for a camera. If you do want to use the card as a self remote, you can just hit that little icon and that will turn on the selfie feature. In top left, you have a little person icon. If you hit that, you have additional global settings, which you have the alert flashlight. If that is on, when you hit the Bluetooth tracker, it will actually flash your phone in addition to the sound. The next two down are your do not disturb settings. The inway card has separation alerts and you don't want those alerts going off at the inappropriate time. So they do give you all these different do not disturb settings and I've never seen so many built all into one tracker. It has quiet hours, trusted zones based off of your geolocation and trusted Wi-Fi's, oh my. Each inway has their own settings. If you hit the three little dots, you can customize the alert tone, which each card has three different tones, or you can make the phone do three different tones. And then you have the separation alerts. And what this is, is if you leave your device behind, it will actually ring your phone to let you know to go back and get it. Now, this is a simple disconnection, meaning if your phone gets disconnected from your inway card, it will sound that alert. 
That's why the do not disturb settings are so important so that alarm does not go off at the inappropriate times. One thing that is missing in the app is some type of community. So if you happen to lose your in-way card outside Bluetooth range, you can ask the community to help you find it. Hopefully in the near future, they have a community feature. They say the distance can go up to 100 feet, but understand in a real life situation, you have walls, you have electronics, you have Wi-Fi, you have cell phone reception, which all affects the range. So in a real life situation, you're probably not gonna get 100 feet, but I will be doing a distance test if I get enough interest. So if you wanna see a full distance test, let me know down in the comments below. One thing I always do in my Bluetooth tracker reviews is double check to make sure the tracker can still work and find your iPhone even if you accidentally or purposely shut down the app completely. So let's go ahead and shut this down. Here we go, and we're gonna give it a try. All right, it's not working. Sometimes this does take a minute or two to rejuvenate or do whatever it needs to do. So we'll come back about a minute. All right, it's been a couple minutes. As you can see, there are no apps running whatsoever. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Boom. It's working. When it comes to this proprietary wire, a lot of people are gonna lose it, including me, or it's gonna break over time. Now, Inway was smart and they actually sell this separately. A lot of other brands that have these proprietary wires, they don't sell these things separately and if you happen to break it or lose it, you have to buy a whole new one. But Inway was smart and you can buy a separate one if you happen to lose it. It does cost about $7 or so, but at least you have the option. If by chance the Inway card is not the right size for what you want to put this in or on, Inway also makes another similar tracker called the Inway chip. It's about half the size of this. It's a little bit thicker. The battery life is not as good. I think it's been around three months, but it's definitely an option for things that you might want to stick it on that might be a little bit smaller. I'll leave a link down below where you can get more information on the Inway chip. Inway is also about to release a brand new Inway wallet on Kickstarter or Indiegogo. I'll leave a link down below. And I'm pretty excited about this because I don't see a lot of um, wallets with Bluetooth trackers built into it. Usually it's a separate device, but apparently this is built into the wallet. I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but it's pretty exciting. I can't wait to check it out. If you want more information on the Inway wallet, I'll definitely leave a link down below. And if you want to see some other wallet Bluetooth trackers, check out my playlist right there. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next video.